Hello y'all, I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. And since my camera's uh, battery is running low, actually my phone's battery is running low, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. And also I have the headphones on just to differentiate this video from the others. Um, so it turns out that, and just bear with me on this, cause this is gonna get rather, you can say, philosophical. Um, this is rather, this is a social commentary. This is even a sociological commentary video. Um, but I seriously just, I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, other than climate change, homelessness is going to be, and it should already be, the next big fight, the next big thing when it comes to fights that each generation seems to have a calling to fight for or about something. And during my generation, it was for and about, literally, and, and it didn't happen until much, much later. But eventually it was for gay people's rights, the rights of gay people. And it didn't get moving until really just recently here. And I really think that the next generation coming up after the millennials here, that their big fight is going to have to be for and about, and it should be for and about climate change and the rights of homelessness, the rights of, you know, the rights of and for homeless people. And that is one that those in authority have been fighting since the beginning of time, they've been fighting against worker rights, which is also a homeless, homeless people's problem. Worker rights, um, voting rights, uh, the rights of criminals, because the majority of homeless people have a criminal record. And the whole thing plays into, and I will look this up, uh, at least in America, the whole thing plays into having the right to vote and having the right to decide who is going to rule over you and what those laws are going to be. The U.S. is supposed to be a entire country made out of people who rule themselves and govern themselves. And yet that is not what it is being since the homeless do not have any rights. And right now I know that, case in point, right now I know that Homeless people themselves are very ashamed of being homeless. They don't want to be called homeless. They don't want to be, they don't even want the word mentioned in their presence. It is very embarrassing. The word homelessness and being homeless is so stigmatized and so looked down upon. We're even using different words for it. And that is, that is just wrong. It is flat out wrong. No one should be you know, embarrassed about being homeless. No one should be embarrassed about being jobless. No one should be stigmatized and seen as the fact the word deadbeat should not even be in our vocabulary. The word lazy should not even be in our vocabulary. I have learned that for it, people who are homeless, they have to work a million times harder just to stay alive, just to have a place to sleep. They work so hard. Things that people take for granted, running water, they have to work their ass off just to find running water. They have to work their ass off just to find a toilet to shit in. They have to work their ass off just to find a toilet to piss in. They, you know, they can't just go and take a shower. There's no such thing as changing their clothes. There's no such thing as washing their clothes. That's completely out. What they do is if they get a new set of clothing, they throw the old clothing out and they put the new clothing on. That's literally the way it is. So the next big fight is to destigmatize just being homeless itself and homeless people and the term homelessness. This is very much like it was back in the 1950s and being gay, where you couldn't say the word gay, you couldn't say the word homosexual, you couldn't say the word lesbian, you couldn't say the word, you know, bi, transgender, you know, all of these things were so shameful. The very words themselves were shameful. The very words themselves, you know, just speaking it was, was just blasphemous. And to point the finger of blame at anyone and to call them, 
call them gay, that was absolutely career ending for the person that was being called gay. That was life ending for the person that was being called gay. Um, you know, case in point, there was a beautifully intelligent neuro uh, neurologist called Oliver Sacks. And he internalized that societal hate to the point where he even said that he hated being gay. And he saw it as a terrible and horrific nuisance that got in the way of his mind and his intelligence. I mean, that uh, for a man to be that intelligent and yet hate being gay, that shows right there. For, for That guy was rich and well-educated and he hated himself for being gay. He hated the fact that he was gay. He actually mentioned that. That says everything right there. I really shouldn't be looking at my microphone, sorry. But that says everything right there. And that stigma is still going on, not as severely as it was in the 60s and the 50s. And the 60s and the 50s was when people finally, who were gay, started picketing and they started fighting and they started saying, we're not going to be second class citizens any longer. We are human beings and have rights. And... Initially, people had to start fighting for them. They had to put the idea in their head that you are a human being and you need to stick up for yourself. And thankfully, unfortunately, it was the more rich in the crowd that said, you know what, you're right, we're going to do this. We're going to get together and we're going to form groups and we're going to start publicly protesting. And unfortunately, this is the exact same thing that is going on in society today for and with and about homeless people and those who are homeless. The, these are human beings. And this is the next big fight. This is the next big fight. It was back in the day that if you were find, found being gay, you know, you wouldn't be able to vote anymore. You know, literally, it was like that in many states. So, you know, this is the next big fight. The fight for homeless people, the fight for their rights, the fight to give them equality, to give them equal everything, 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 everything. Give them food, give them the ability to take showers, you know. It'd be nice if we could give them homes to live in, but it looks like that's never going to happen. So if we could at least give them the right to not be arrested and to vote and to take showers and to be fed and to be watered just that much. Just give them that much, you know, because the housing thing isn't going to be happening, clearly. So, and as this video is dealing with remove the stigmatization, remove the stigma around the word and the term homelessness, remove the stigma of, oh, you're automatically a druggie. Oh, you're automatically a criminal. Oh, you're automatically insane. Oh, you're automatically disgusting, you know. Oh, you're automatically a convicted, you know, who knows what rapist and whatnot, you know, that, that is not true. That is so not true. The majority of homeless people are actually ended up on the street because of horrible physical illness, either someone in their family or uh, because of some sort of economical, such as 2020 disaster. Uh, there was the 2008, you know, massive depression. I don't care what anyone says. That was a depression that happened. People became homeless because of that. People became homeless because of the 2020 flu disaster. People, uh, you know, they'll become homeless because of a natural disaster. Fire burned down their house. Tornado took away their house. Flooding took away their house. And they were homeless from that point on. They couldn't financially recover from it. They couldn't, you know, resource wise recover from it they didn't have family in their in their area that allowed them to stay with them you know they didn't have friends that allowed them to stay with them and even if they did that only lasts for so long before you know before you have to get up off that couch and go out onto the street so this is the next big fight this is the next big fight and arguably is just as big, if not larger than the fight for, you know, what we're still fighting for, sadly and terribly and horrifically, unfortunately, the fight for gay rights, lesbian rights, transgender rights, bi people's rights, asexual people's rights. Asexuals are, are literally the ghosts in the room and people want to say, well, you don't exist or you don't deserve rights. 
you know, because you're the absence of sexuality. Well, this culture is so incredibly sexualized that you actually need to stick up for yourself and say, well, guess what? There is such a thing as not being attracted to anyone, <laughs> you know, that that literally needs to be stated because people like that do exist. They exist. So anyway, I'm getting into other things here, but we need to destigmatize the label, the term, and the people who are homeless. We need to give them just as much respect, rights, and equal say, and we need to give them voting power. We need to give them just as much voting power and heft and sway and weight as someone who is housed. That is the most important, that right there. And I know that everyone in power and authority is terrified of this, absolutely terrified of what I just said, giving homeless people voting power and equal weight and sway in the line of voting as anyone else, because their easiest and quickest way to get rid of voters is to make them homeless. You know, if you don't want someone or some demographic to vote, make them homeless. Make it so that they can't vote by giving them a criminal record. And that's exactly what they've been doing. And I just want to say, and I did channel this message, but it's very important and it's very true. I was told that only the slaves are told that there is good and bad and that there is, that they should be, feel a shame or guilt. Those who are in power, who are not enslaved, do never, they are never told that there is good or bad and they are never given the feeling of shame or guilt because all is good for them and all is seen as being good. So that says everything right there. If you feel shame or guilt about anything at all, know that someone or something, whether it's an overall society, whether it's a government, whether it's a religion or what have you, if you're feeling shame or guilt at all, then know that someone or something is ruling over you and that something put that idea of shame or guilt in your head. You should never feel guilty about being gay. You should never feel guilty about being bi. You should never feel guilty or shameful about being transgender. You should never feel shameful or, shameful or guilty about being jobless. You should never feel shameful or guilty about being physically ill. You should never feel shameful or guilty about being mentally ill and you should never feel shameful or guilty about being homeless. The fact that we have these things in our society, the fact that we even can make someone feel bad, call them a deadbeat, call them a hypochondriac, call them lazy, call them shiftless for what? For not having a job, for not being able to quote earn a living for yeah for so many things for you know i shouldn't go off into this but for even being a woman and having sex you know just there are so many things don't be a sheeple don't be brainwashed don't be a sheeple don't be brainwashed if you feel guilt about anything the first thing you need to think of is who and what is making me feel guilty? Who and what is making me sh feel shameful? Why have I internalized these feelings? That is a channeled message from a spirit. Take it with a grain of salt, but I think it's very relevant and very good to add that into this video because society needs to change and we need to stop being brainwashed and we need to stop being controlled by those who are over us. It is time for us human beings to take back our power. Don't be ashamed of being jobless. Don't be ashamed of being homeless. Don't be ashamed of being whatever you are. A woman, gay, homeless, having an abortion. I mean, I could just go on and on and on and on and on. It is wrong that society has, it is wrong that human beings have treated you badly. Anyone who is watching this video, who may be any of these things that I mentioned or 
something else, who knows. But it is wrong that human beings have treated you badly. It is wrong that businesses and companies and corporations have treated you badly. It is wrong that anyone for any reason has treated you badly. That is not good. So I'm just going to cut it off here this because this is getting on beyond zebra uh I'm, I'm already at what like at least 16 minutes i don't know if i'm going to edit this down or not but so i'm going to cut it off here because i'm about to go into a massively long speech and i'm trying to keep these videos short so <sighs> thanks for stopping by please i am fighting this fight and at the moment i'm pretty much fighting it alone so please Join my channel. Join this group. Please. I'm fighting for homeless people's rights, Wicca rights, witches' rights, women's rights, uh, lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, asexual, questioning, and queer. Um, and, and yes, even black people's rights, even though really I, I can't speak for that because I'm obviously not black. But, you know, I'm for Black Lives Matter. Uh, I am ignorant <laughs> ignorantly for about black lives matter but i am for black lives matter so uh but there is a lot of stuff in black culture that i still don't know about you know but i am you know i am for you know these people and these things but uh i am but i'm not ignorantly for you know all the other stuff i mentioned you know but anyway I'm going to cut this video off here before I actually do eat my foot worse than I have. I'm trying not to eat my foot up to my ass. So there we go. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. The big thing that we need to fight for now is homeless people's rights. Homeless people's rights and obviously <laughs> going green, saving the earth. In saving the earth, we save ourselves. So, but that's a whole nother thing for a whole nother video. So bye for now. And thanks for stopping by.